Hi guys, welcome to the Savvy Money Show with me, your host Sean. If you find any of today's entertainment helpful, don't forget to smash that lovely like button. It helps with the YouTube algorithm and uh, getting the video out to more people. If you haven't subscribed already, and I love each one of my subscribers, although not personally yet, uh, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and bell notification, you'll be notified when the video comes out. If you're looking for a free trading platform on which to trade shares, look in the description below. There'll be links where you can get a free share for signing up. Now on with the show. We're going to go back through the shares we've uh, recommended before, and we're going on to recommending well not recommending because I'm not a financial advisor but we're going to talk about some new shares on top of that we're going to uh, be discussing a couple of other youtubers and I'll be opening up one of my portfolios I have five and let's get on with the show This company, Valeris, uh, is an offshore dr drilling rig company that operates in Saudi Arabia and off the Gulf of Mexico. You know, a bit like Deep Water Horizon, just without the accidents. And I wish I put more money in. I only put £17 in. It's gone up 500%. Look at that. 33 cents I put in a share I bought in it's over two dollars now now 17 percent dividend yield it's one of these that increased their revenues in 2020 now I just thought this was a good growth stock I wanted it to offset my tanker stocks and it's over nine dollars a share in the last year and if you go back to maximum it's over 55 dollars a share 56 57 Look. but that was before deep water horizon and then share price come down and they didn't recover now tell oh, another one to offset it and I was in it before, made some money and come out. This was originally a two thirty, two pound thirty a share. It's gone up forty nine percent. Another one I put hardly anything in. It's an oil and gas exploration and production company for Africa. We know Africa is awash with oil and diamonds. Six percent dividend yield. Right. The thing is, it's one I mentioned before. I've mentioned Taylor Wimpy, only just bought some. Slack, I mentioned, would beat its earnings. It did. I also mentioned there'd be a money opp opportunity after earnings, and that's when I bought in. Now, not at a very low, but near enough and I'm happy with that for the moment and if it goes lower again I will buy more you see that this is a nice buying point I'll wait and see if it drops in any more and if it goes below $30 I'll buy again now because I People think it's not going to make money, it stays over, but as Zoom has proven, people are still going to be working from home. Facebook, Apple, Google, they're still having them work from home, so this will still make money. Remark Holdings, another roller coaster. I mentioned how the casinos were looking to use their technology and. It, Basically, it's just come out with it's upgraded to a strong buy. Now, 
Qualcomm. I just bought out it today. Premier Oil. Now this one I held before when it was 86 and sold for 120. Uh, this is one that has bought the oil fields, North Sea oil fields off of BP. And it's a P ratio of 2.5. Precipo. Another one that's gone up 64% is Diagnostics Company. Now, I just think it has a lot of room to grow. And this is one that I took half my shares out to save my position and everything else is gravy Moderna left two shares in there as a hedge bet because the way things are going I think President is going to care whether it works or not they've made their money they've got the 500 million Marks and Spencers I just think they're so low compared to what they were you know, they paid a lot for the card ideal. And look at that. PE ratio of five, dividend of three and a half. I think the dividend is cut, is going to be cut. But you're buying it for the growth and future dividend. Yeah. Is the M&T Bank legal in general I spoke about before? Yeah. It's... And to tell the truth, this is going up quite quite a bit. Twelve percent since I bought it. It has P of eight and dividend of seven cent. Now IBO. It's one I looked into. It's a biotech company. And as I said before, I think it has growth potential. But I've only put like 10 quid in because I'm not going to sink a load of money in in national personal finance now I've got a credit dunks money for this he's the one who found it it was uh, you know it was a once there uh, two pound a share and it's a company with P ratio of two and the dividend yield of 6.87 now what I find and it's only cheap as well now this is one I got credit JKR for opening my eyes I knew about it before I mentioned it a long while ago and I f then I forgot all about it and I don't know what, why I never went into it because this was when I mentioned it on my channel and I've just bought it here why I never bought it when I mentioned it I never know but then I was distracted with other things this has all right let's, let's get to it this has uh, let's, let's see I took some all right we have a number of things like JW GW all right they have the Epidolex which is the only cannabis based uh, medication to stop uh, seizures and the NHS it's been authorised in the EU is and the UK and the NHS is starting using it next year and honestly if you see the videos and the trials it is such a relief to anyone who has seizures I have epilepsy I've had it all my life and honestly uh, Luckily, I, I haven't had to use this, but for, if you see some people, who, the only thing that helps them is this. Now, this is the, the European launch. This is the debt to equity. You know, I mean, you have to think to yourself, this is the earnings and revenue growth forecast. This is from Simply Wall Street, of course. Now, I do not believe the fair value, 
this is my issue with simply Wall Street. I think that they give a wrong fair value and we are going to nah. I just think it's a, a good growth stock and not just because they're growing MJ anyway I just thought it was worth going into now nah. Glexo Smith Klein I spoke about now I've been day trading this when it gets to 1680 I'm selling it when it gets below 1650 I'm buying it you know you see there the the, the line it's uh, Grubhub you see how much that's my biggest holding at the moment because there's a takeover as I mentioned a month ago Grubhub I've averaged up my position purely because not only are Uber interested now that you have uh, two other European companies interested and apparently there'll be no problem with the SEC with these European companies now Epizone this is a <coughs> biopharmaceutical company that deals with cancer patients now I have I deal with tumours and they will be having an FDA thing soon. Clovis will, I've heard some things about Clovis. And to tell the truth, I'm waiting for it to come up a bit more. And then I'll sell. BT Group, you remember when it was at 110? I said, it's looking like it's going to break through the 115 mark. Then it'll break through the 120 and 125 mark. And then it can go as high as it wants. And that's what's happened. Altria spoke about it and I made a good what I've done is I made like I it hit like twelve percent profit. I've uh sold more than half my share and diverted it into other areas and I'm left the rest there. And I'll leave it there now for the dividend. To you. I spoke about that. I'm a little down on that. But not much. But it's starting to come up again. I just think that will make. I sold some of my commercial REITs. Because I made a huge profit on them. And there was something like $10 off of their high. And the risk reward wasn't that good. Especially considering <coughs> some of them have to take their largest tenants to court they have to some of the, the previous tenants are telling their staff they can work from home it's just too much but i do have other reads british land company for instance then their asset value is nine pounds and fifty a share they're at 466 so i've spoke about custodian re i've got dark group Fire I spoke about and I'm up three percent on that. Now precision bio biosciences. Now it's a genome editing company. You know and to tell the truth I'm thinking whether to I think I'll sell that. Uh, quantum I spoke about before that's a big data services company I'm going to keep that there RDI right re sorry no it's uh it's got quite a few things in London Red Row, I spoke about. No, I'm up on that. Now, again, I said her. Uh, no. Oh, well, sorry. 
it's not there. Yeah. Hi. Let's see. No. Why I, I was asked why I chose MGM, which is on my stake platform. Las Vegas Sands investigated for money laundering. Gilead Sciences. Now, for those of you who are still watching, AstraZeneca uh, was rumoured to be making a takeover target of Gilead Sciences. It's not happening. They have said they haven't approached them. However, as I said before, the way you look at it is Gil Gilead, a price between 73 76 without the uh, takeover target without the cure. So it's up to you if you want to jump on that bus. Digital Alley. I spoke about it yesterday and I also spoke about another one. Now, they have. And you'll see it, they have suddenly got a huge contract for body cams in Kansas City. And what else is going to happen? Once that comes out, there'll be other states to follow suit. Uh, the, as we know, Slack has partnered with Amazon. Now, trust me, anyone who partners with Amazon doesn't do bad out of it. Now, the, so, you might want to check them out. You might also want to check out Sorry, I, I know I'm not spending much time on these. International Personal Finance, ticker symbol IPF, and GW Pharmaceuticals, ticker symbol GW. Now, for a credit segment, you know, which deals with insurances, to be such a low PE ratio and to have a high dividend like that, you'd think they wouldn't have any money. But they have a lot of cash on hand. The debt to assets is 67 Debt to assets is 67%, but that's not too bad considering. Now, GWPH, I've gone through that. I just think these two have a lot of potential. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments box below. Is there anything you want me to look at? Uh, oh, I nearly forgot. Me. There's Spirit Airlines, ticker symbol SAVE. I have DART, which I've dealt with. Spirit Airlines. Now, nah. the thing about Spirit Airlines is I spoke originally saying I thought. I spoke originally saying I thought they would uh, be kicked out by a price war with a price war with uh, all the other companies it seems they don't need to do a price war now and I think Spirit will make out well out of it purely because you are having people going to be working from home but and people their businesses are going to see how much money they're saving but at the same time, they're thinking, we saved all this money in this quarter, but we do still need them to come to another city. We don't want them to come first class or business class anymore. 
We'll have them fly commercial. We'll put them on Spirit Airlines and see how much we save. No. I, I think they'll do well out of it. However, the problem with me with the airlines is that they've had such a run-up recently. It's hard to get into. They're almost at their highs. No. I am quite... I'm quite, uh, I know I'm going over my time, but I was asked about some ETFs. All right, so, like I said before, jets for the airlines, you know, you can see there, you get all the airlines then. Cars for a motor vehicle just because you have such a high amount of you have such a high amount of uh, Tesla in there. No, eleven percent. You have uh, now we go on to another couple of shares. Sea World Entertainment. Now, all the parks, all the theme parks are supposed to be doing well. Disney is has gained on, you know, Universal. What? No one's speaking about SeaWorld. I think SeaWorld will start going up. Because SeaWorld's supposed to be opening one of their parks soon. So, that is something I'm going to be looking into. Now, I was asked, also asked about cell towers. The typical one is Crown Castle. That's the obvious one. I think it's a bit high, but I think it will be a player. 2.85 dividend. Uh, now, these are high, but they're going to be high because they're 5G cell towers companies. Now, SBAC. Now... Thing is, CCI has forty thousand towers. The next one will have forty thousand towers. SBA only has seven thousand towers. So, to tell the truth, this is my favourite one, American Tower, but only has a one and a half percent. But sorry about that. I'm getting bored and listening to myself. So I don't know how you lots stand it. So please thank you for giving up your time to watch me. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.